You might think this is a joke, but it's not. Once you understand the seven principles of Hermes and start using them in your life, you can become whoever you want to be, and I guarantee it. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have it all, while others struggle just to get by? Why are some happy, healthy, and successful, while others are unhappy, sick, and poor? Is it all just a matter of luck, or is there something more? What if I told you there's a secret knowledge, a way to unlock the mysteries of life and reach your full potential? Wisdom passed down through centuries, kept hidden by secret societies and teachers. But now, it's available to anyone who seeks it. This wisdom can transform your mind, body, and soul, bringing you into harmony with the natural laws of the universe. It's called Hermeticism. Hermeticism is an ancient philosophical and spiritual tradition that originated in Egypt around the 1st or 2nd century AD. It is based on the teachings of a legendary figure named Hermes Trismegistus, who is said to have been a messenger of the gods and the source of all knowledge. Hermes Trismegistus wrote several texts that outline the principles of Hermeticism, also known as the Seven Hermetic Principles. These principles explain the nature of reality and how we can use our minds to influence it. Throughout history, Hermeticism has influenced many esoteric and occult traditions such as alchemy, astrology, magic, Kabbalah, Rosicrucianism, Freemasonry, and Theosophy. It has also inspired many famous thinkers, artists, and leaders such as Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton, William Blake, Napoleon Bonaparte, and Carl Gustav Jung. Today, Hermeticism is still relevant and popular among those seeking spiritual enlightenment and personal growth. In this video, I will explain each of the seven Hermetic principles in simple terms and show you how to apply them to your life. By understanding and applying these principles, you can harness the power of your mind and create your own reality. You will also discover the hidden connections between you and the universe, and learn how to use them to your advantage. The first principle of Hermeticism is the principle of mentalism. This principle states that all is mind, and the universe is mental. What does this mean? It means that everything that exists is a manifestation of one universal mind or consciousness. This mind is also known as the All, the One, the Source, or God. Everything that we perceive as physical reality is actually a mental projection of this mind. This principle implies that our own minds are part of this whole and possess the same creative power. We can use our minds to shape our reality in accordance with our thoughts and beliefs. Everything we think and feel becomes our experience. Therefore, it's very important to be aware of our mental state and choose positive thoughts instead of negative. One way to understand this principle is to turn to quantum physics. Quantum physics is the science that studies the nature of matter and energy at its most fundamental level. It has proven that reality is not fixed or objective, but depends on the observer and their expectations. For example, light can behave like a wave or a particle depending on how we measure it. This shows that reality is not out there, but is created here, in our minds. Another way to illustrate this principle is to recall the phenomena of self-fulfilling prophecies or the placebo effect. A self-fulfilling prophecy occurs when our belief in something causes it to happen. For example, if we believe that we will fail an exam, we may study less or perform poorly, turning our belief into reality. The placebo effect occurs when our belief in something makes us feel better or worse without any physical reason. For example, if we believe that a sugar pill is medicine, we may feel less pain or more energy after taking it. These examples demonstrate how powerful our minds are and how they can influence our reality. By applying the principle of mentalism, we can use our minds to create positive outcomes for ourselves and for others. The second hermetic principle is the principle of correspondence. This principle states that as above, so below, as within, so without. This means that there is a correspondence or similarity between the different planes of existence. The macrocosm, the big world, reflects the microcosm, the small world, and vice versa. The outer world reflects the inner world, and vice versa. This principle affirms that everything is interconnected and in harmony. There are patterns and laws that govern all aspects of reality, from the physical to the spiritual. By understanding these patterns and laws, we can understand ourselves and our place in the universe. A simple way to understand this principle is to imagine a mirror. The mirror reflects what you show it. If you smile at the mirror, it smiles back at you. If you frown at the mirror, it frowns back at you. The same thing happens in the universe. The universe reflects back to you what you send out. If you radiate positive thoughts, feelings, and actions, you receive positive results. If you radiate negative thoughts, feelings, and actions, you receive negative results. This principle applies to all levels and areas of life. For example, your health is a reflection of your thoughts and feelings about your body. Your relationships are a reflection of your thoughts and feelings about yourself and other people. Your career is a reflection of your thoughts and feelings about your work and purpose. Let me share with you a personal example of how this principle works. A few years ago, I was unhappy with my job. I felt stuck, overwhelmed, and unfulfilled. I complained a lot about my boss, 
colleagues, and responsibility. I dreaded going to work every day. As a result, at work, I faced even more problems, such as conflicts, mistakes, and delays. I also noticed that my personal life began to suffer. I had little energy, poor health, and strained relationships. One day, I decided to change my attitude. I realized that I was creating my own reality with my thoughts and feelings. I decided to focus on the positive aspects of my job, such as the opportunity to learn new skills, the flexible schedule, and the impact my work had on others. I also decided to express gratitude for my work every day. I was grateful to my boss for his guidance, to my colleagues for their support, and to my tasks for the opportunities for growth. As soon as I changed my inner world, my outer world changed too. I started to enjoy my work more, and my productivity increased. I received more recognition, feedback, and opportunities from my boss and colleagues. I also noticed that my personal life improved. I had more energy, my health improved, and my relationships became more harmonious. This is just one example of how the principle of correspondence works. You can apply this principle to any area of your life that you want to improve or change. The key is to align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your desired outcome. The law of vibration says that nothing stands still. Everything moves. Everything vibrates. From the tiniest atom to the largest galaxy, everything in the universe is in constant motion and energy. And this energy vibrates at different speeds or frequencies, depending on its nature and state. This means that you too are a vibrating being with your own unique frequency. Your thoughts, emotions, beliefs and actions, all of these affect your vibration. And your vibration, in turn, affects your reality. You attract what you are in harmony with, and you repel what doesn't resonate with you. This is the basis of the law of attraction, which is a manifestation of the principle principle of vibration. When you vibrate at a high frequency, you are in harmony with joy, love, abundance, and peace. However, when you vibrate at a low frequency, you resonate with fear, anger, neediness, and conflict. One way to raise your vibration is through the practice of gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful feeling that shifts your focus from what you lack to what you already have. It also opens your heart to receive even more blessings from the universe. Try this simple exercise. Every morning, write down three things you are grateful for. These can be small things or something grand. The main thing is that they evoke pleasant feelings in you. Then throughout the day, when you encounter something that makes you happy or makes you feel grateful, just say thank you, silently or out loud. Pay attention to how this changes your mood and energy level. And now let's move on to another principle, the principle of polarity. This principle states that everything in the world is dual. Everything has poles. Everything has its opposite. For example, heat and cold, light and darkness, good and evil, love and hate. These are not separate things but different sides of the same coin. These are opposite ends of one spectrum. This means that you have the power to change your perception of any situation or circumstance by changing your polarity. You can choose to see the positive or negative side of things. You can choose to love something or hate it. You can choose to be happy or sad at any moment. The value of this principle is that it allows you to find a balance between extremes and use the full range of possibilities. For example, if you are sad, you can acknowledge that sadness is a natural emotion that has its purpose and value. But you can also choose to see the other side of sadness, joy. You can remember a time when you were happy or do something that brings you joy. You can also realize that sadness is not eternal. It will pass and joy will take its place again. One way to apply this principle is through the practice of acceptance. Acceptance is a state of mind that allows you to accept everything that happens in your life without resistance or judgment. This doesn't mean that you agree with everything or like everything, it just means that you accept it as it is. By doing this, you free yourself from suffering and open yourself to learning and growth. Try this simple exercise. When you face difficulties or problems in your life, say to yourself or out loud, I accept this. Then ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? How can I use this to my advantage? Notice how these questions change your attitude and perspective on the situation. And now, let's talk about the law of rhythm. This law says that everything in the universe moves in a rhythmic flow. Everything has its natural ebb and flow. It swings, just like a pendulum. Nothing stays still or in the same state forever. We can see this principle in many areas of life. For example, we experience cycles in our mood, productivity, energy, and creativity. Sometimes we feel happy motivated, energetic, and inspired. At other times, we might feel sad, lazy, tired, and down. These are natural swings that we can't avoid or control. We can also observe this principle in the seasons, the phases of the moon, ocean tide, the rise and fall of civilizations. Everything has its time of growth and decline, expansion and contraction, creation and destruction. How can we use this principle to improve our lives? 
The key is to go with the flow, not against it. When we are in a down phase, we shouldn't resist it or get discouraged. We should accept it as a natural part of life and use this time to rest, reflect, learn, and prepare for the next upswing. When we are in an up phase, we shouldn't get too comfortable or become arrogant. We should make the most of this time, take action, create, express gratitude, and enjoy the fruits of our labor. The Law of Cause and Effect This law states that nothing happens for no reason. Every action has a cause, and every cause has an effect. Everything that happens in the universe is the result of a chain of causes and effects that can be traced back to the very beginning. This principle applies to all levels of existence, spiritual, mental, and physical. On a spiritual level, our thoughts and beliefs create our reality. On a mental level, our attitudes and emotions influence our actions. And on a physical level, our actions create our results. One way to illustrate this principle is to consider the butterfly effect. This is the idea that a small change in one part of a system can have a huge impact on another part of it. For example, a butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil can cause a hurricane in Texas. This shows how everything is interconnected and interdependent in the universe. The principle of cause and effect also applies to your habits and results. Your habits are the actions you repeat every day, consciously or unconsciously. They are the causes of your results, which are what you achieve or experience in your life. For example, if you have a habit of exercising regularly, you can get results like good physical fitness and health. Conversely, if you have a habit of smoking, you can get results like illness and poor health. The good news is that understanding the principle of cause and effect allows you to take control of your life. You can realize that you are not a victim of circumstances, but their creator. You can choose actions that are aligned with your spiritual purpose purpose, generate positive thoughts and emotions, and develop healthy habits. By doing so, you can create positive changes in your life and in the world. What comes to mind when you hear the word gender, biological sex, social roles, identity, or something else? Gender is a complex and sometimes controversial topic in our society, but it's also a universal principle that applies to everything and everyone. The principle of gender states that everything has both masculine and feminine aspects or modalities. Masculine and feminine energies are two forms of expression that apply to our thoughts and actions, as well as our emotions and feelings. Masculine energy is active, assertive, logical, rational, analytical, and goal-oriented. Feminine energy is passive, receptive, intuitive, creative, emotional, and process-oriented. These energies are not opposites but rather complement each other. They work together to create harmony and balance within us and in the world. They are like two sides of the same coin or two poles of a magnet. They are like the yin and yang energies in Eastern philosophy, which represent the dynamic interplay of all phenomena. Yin energy is feminine, dark, cold, soft, internal, and descending. Yang energy is masculine, bright, warm, hard, external, and ascending. Yin and yang energies are in constant change and influence each other. They are never static or separate. They are always in motion and interaction. The principle of gender teaches us to balance the yin and yang energies within ourselves and in our relationships with others. We must embrace both the masculine and feminine aspects of our being, without suppressing or denying either one. We must integrate both logic and intuition, analysis and creativity, action and reflection, ambition and care. By doing so, we can achieve a state of wholeness and harmony that will allow us to realize our true potential and purpose. We can also improve our communication and connection with other people who may have different levels of masculine and feminine energy. We can appreciate the diversity and richness of life that arises from the interplay of genders. So, we took a close look at the seven hermetic principles and how they can impact your life. Try applying them to your everyday life and see how your reality changes. By the way, if you've watched this far, please like and subscribe to the channel, it's free. And now for the interesting part. Which of these seven principles resonated with you the most and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below.